Miami's multi-million dollar science museum. It's almost complete, but local tenants has learned that it's not going to open this summer as scheduled. A private funding shortfall has public officials scrambling for a plan B. Local 10's Glenna Milberg is live at the museum site to explain. Lori, many people may know that the Science Museum here is being filled with public and private money. And until very recently, the board has been saying publicly that fundraising was right on target. We now know that is not the case. And today we learned that the county is coming up with a plan B because by all accounts, failure is not an option. You're looking over a giant Gulfstream tank, a 500,000 gallon tank. Big fish, or sharks, tuna, and everything else. It's a construction marvel at the moment and a bayfront showcase to be of science and technology. Education remains at the heart of what we're doing. $150 million in public money is building Miami's new signature science museum. But we learn the expected $100 million more in private funding for the exhibits and operations has come up short. We're not putting any general fund money into it. Miami-Dade's mayor has told the museum's board no to more public money, but today told us he's floating a plan to front load 20 years worth of annual county funding already allocated to finish and open the museum. Then future private funding will replace that for annual operations. I don't like this any more than anybody else, but when you look at the options, the, there is no option of keeping it closed. We have aspirations to be the next great cultural center in this hemisphere, so this aggressive plan of fundraising was part of the formula for that. Yes, the plan moves the funding issues down the road, but the thought is once people see this and what it is open, the financial support will be much more forthcoming. As it comes to fruition, we're seeing that more gifts are coming along. It's just not coming along as fast as we need to complete everything for opening, and the longer it takes, uh, the more expensive things get. So we really want to get to opening as fast as we possibly can. You'll see the signs go up. The name of the museum is the Patricia and Philip Frost Museum. Those philanthropists donated $45 million, which is more than half of all the private donations involved. Meanwhile, the county's plan has to be signed off by the 13-member commission. The mayor tells us today that he's spoken to eight commissioners. Every one of them is supportive. So if this all happens as planned now, this museum should be open by fall. I'm Glenna Milberg, live in downtown Miami tonight, Local 10 News.